New at 10, doctors could soon stop seeing New Mexico patients. This after a New Mexico woman sued Texas doctors for malpractice. The ruling has doctors banding together to petition the state Supreme Court. They say the ruling could cause major consequences that could mean the difference between life and death. ABC 7's Josie Orthogon has more only on ABC 7. The, uh, the border area, including El Paso, New Mexico, the, all the surrounding areas, has always been an underserved uh, area for doctors. Dr. Andrew Palofox is a director of orthopedic trauma at Del Sol Medical Center. Del Sol and UMC are the only level one and level two trauma centers in El Paso. New Mexico is different. The nearest trauma center is in Albuquerque. In 2003, Proposition 12 granted the Texas legislature to cap non economic damages in health care liability cases. But Montano v. Frieza changes how Texas doctors cover themselves. The court ruled New Mexico law applies to New Mexico patients when getting care in Texas. Since most doctors have no liability when providing care for New Mexico patients, that leaves them with an even greater litigation risk. A risk Dr. Juan Escobar, an El Paso cardiologist, says they'd rather avoid. There may be a, a reluctance to accept patients from New Mexico. Uh, especially high-risk patients. Dr. Escobar estimates it could impact thousands of patients who seek care here in El Paso. I myself see uh, quite a few patients from Sunland Park, Chaparral, uh, Las Cruces somewhat sometimes, and also from Alamogordo. A look at this map here shows at least nine communities depend on El Paso's care. Both doctors say when it comes to life or death situations, doctors don't recognize borders. But the outcome of this case could change that. We don't, we don't want to get to the point where we're starting to recognize a border and saying, well, you have New Mexico uh, residency, so we don't have malpractice insurance to cover New Mexico patients. We're sorry. We don't want to get to that point. Joe Sartagon, ABC 7. The El Paso County Medical Society and the Doña Ana County Medical Society are just some groups that have petitioned the New Mexico Supreme Court. A decision has yet to be made. Depending on the outcome, the case may go to the U.S. Supreme Court. It 